Hello, my friends. It's so nice to see you again. Well, technically, I can't see you, but you can't see me, so I guess it's great to see me again, right? On my last video, I asked if there was anything that you guys wanted me to talk about. So there was a response from Dork Knight 96 What up? And they said, what about virginity? I know most of my subscribers are teenagers, so hopefully I get to save some of your virginities. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to get right into it. So I'm going to give you my experience. My first time, how I lost my virginity. You know, this is something really personal, but I think that um, if I throw myself out there, I can save a lot of you guys from doing a big mistake. I remember, you know, all my friends, you know, losing their virginities or getting close to losing them. And I was left behind. So... I kind of lied sometimes about having experience when I really hadn't done anything, you know? But I, I guess that's every teenager. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you out there that lie about getting some, <laughs> right? It all started back in 1999. I was 15. Don't judge me, okay? There was a major catastrophe about to happen. You know, like a prediction that the world was going to end and shit. Because supposedly from my understanding, the fucking computers weren't programmed to go over the year 2000 or something like that. And fucking there was going to be chaos all over and that we were going to kill each other and it was going to be the end of the world. My only thought around that time was, I don't want to die a virgin. Towards the end of the year, there was this boy who moved in next door. This guy was really cute. He just asked me to be his girlfriend. Despite the fact that he was cute, I really, you know, didn't see myself with him. Okay, so after a week that we were together, he busted the, I love you. <sighs> after he said that, I already knew what he wanted. But I started thinking, you know, all of my friends are doing it. You know, I have a chance to do it. This guy is willing to do it. So why not? I was stupid, I guess. We agreed to do it. You know, I told the guy that I wasn't a virgin because I thought that by telling him that I was, he was going to back out and not want to do anything with me because he was probably going to think that I was so childish or something. So when, once we got down to it, though, I kind of regretted my decision. I was so scared. I was terrified. And I told him don't don't do it like no I'm not ready but it was too late by then and I just remember him putting it in once and I I could still remember the feeling it was just like a painful pressure that went from my lower region of my body all the way up and out through my ears and I just remember pushing him off and just kicking him out after that day I never talked to that guy again I was really embarrassed. I was so disappointed in myself. And once everything sunk in, I remember just wanting to change. So I want to change. And I remember, you know, looking down in my undies and I just broke down crying. Uh, there was a proof that I was no longer a virgin. And, you know, it took me a while to kind of, kind of get over it. I'm not going to say that I completely got over it. It's just, you know, I was able to hide my feelings well. So about a year passed by, I turned 16. And, you know, I was in drama class and I met this guy. Well, I didn't meet this guy. I just started talking to this guy that I've already known since middle school. And let's just call him Scooter Boy. We were both in relationships. You know, we were very unhappy with the people that we were with. So we decided to consummate our friendship. You know, he knew my situation. He was a virgin. So I thought, what a perfect opportunity for both of us to, you know, share that moment with each other. We tried to make it romantic. We went to the beach. You know, we realized that there was really no place to do it. So we decided to go into the boys' bathroom. And right there on the floor, he made me his. It was the uh, best three seconds of my life. <laughs> In that moment. 
<laughs> and I'm pretty sure they were the best three seconds of his life too. This time around it was different because despite the fact that physically I was no longer a virgin, you know, I technically didn't know what sex was. So he was the one who actually took my virginity away. And I'm glad that he did. And I hope he's watching this right now because I know that throughout our relationship, I would always tell him how I regretted doing it where we did it, that I wish that we could have been in a relationship before we did it. I know I made him feel like if I had regret the whole thing, but I don't. Hopefully, Skater Boy, if you're watching this, you know, I know you took a piece of me with you, and I'm glad that I was able to experience what I did with you because you made that beautiful. So now it's time for my advice. I hope that you guys really take this video into consideration and the advice that I'm giving you. If you guys are no longer virgins and you're looking at this, I truly hope that you pass this along to people who, you know, haven't had the privilege to losing it, I guess. Your virginity is a gift. And as sappy and stupid as that may sound, it is a gift. And you have to really think about who you're giving it to you know for me virginity represents your childhood your youth your curiosity and most importantly it represents your innocence and you don't want to give that away to a douchebag or a fucking bitch that won't even remember your name the next day i think that losing your virginity is special because you share it with someone who will always treasure that moment whether it be a boyfriend, your girlfriend, your friend, your best friend, you know, a kid that you had an amazing summer with. And I'm not talking about Grace. Okay, maybe I am. It's just choose wisely who you do it with. And I think that you will never regret it. You know, we made YOLO happen. Why don't we make YOVO happen? You're only virgin once. And if you're still a virgin, now you know what to do. Save yourself until you find that it's the right moment with the right person. And that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you guys have any more suggestions or anything else that you'd like for me to talk about, comment below or you can send me a message through YouTube. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!